Well, he did have his, his his picadillos, didn't he? He had his thing. He would he would he would go out into London. Would I think it's Gladstone? Uh, hire a, hire a prostitute, um, which was the done thing. Take her home and then talk to her for the duration of the booked period. Lecture her about not being a prostitute, then throw her out and whip himself on the back. That was his thing. <laughs> At the beginning of that paragraph, I thought you were talking about pick a lily. <laughs> <laughs> And I was hoping for a story about toast or sandwiches. <laughs> Who puts pick a lily on toast? I was going to say, there's something wrong with you if you put pick a lily on toast. Hang on, we've right. gone from never Gladstone. Mind, <laughs> never mind the mishearing, never mind how quickly we've moved through this. The hell are you doing putting put pick a lily on toast? <laughs> you might as well put mustard in your eyes. You know, it's a horrible thing to do. I've had mustard on toast before. Mm. What? What is wrong with. What, Just nothing wrong with mustard on toast. It's like having sweet chilli on toast. Just or... mustard? A butter as well. And probably oh, white fine. pepper if oh, it was well, green. we got the butter, that's fine. Which, which mustard? English, French, what? English. English. I like how you're doing this kind of tennis thing here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must know. Well, you must know. Baron's terrified. He's encountered things he doesn't understand. You've, you've opened Ronan's eyes to a whole new era of condiments. Have you never had toast? condiments on toast before? Uh, 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 no. no. I've had cheese and brown sauce. No, no, that's cheese. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking tomato sauce sandwich here. What? Tomato it's sauce a- sandwich. Oh. oh, Jesus. Horseradish? Oh, horseradish on toast. Forget the toast. Out of the gym right. with yeah. a spoon. <laughs> I mean, for <laughs> sake, that's like having yop on a baguette. I mean, you're just putting substances together. The Newgate novel, if I can, if I can sort of bring this back. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that got to do with tartar sauce? <laughs> One of the convicts was done for tartar sauce rustling. <laughs> Rolling a barrel of tartar sauce. Surely tartar street. sauce clinking with being in jars. No, no, it's just a, just a barrel of it. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's in that barrel, sir? Water. <laughs> Let me stick my bit of bread in there, yeah. sir. I have a slice of toast here. It just so happens that if this is water, it will be utterly spoiled. However, if it is tartar sauce, as we know, that is a great delicacy. My lad, delicious though this is, I am taking you in for tartar sauce rustling. <laughs> Of course, in France, they took up with the idea and replaced truncheons with baguettes. <laughs> First day, it's for eating. Second day, it's for beating convicts. <laughs> <laughs> for eating and beating. Sorry, you said a baguette lasts a day. In the <laughs> afternoon, it's for beating. <laughs> We've invented a bread product that lasts no more than an hour. <laughs> I have taken this bread home. She's wasted. She's wasted. <laughs> oh, sorry, are we pissing off a different nationality each show Looking here? that way. Looking the only way to get way. a fresh baguette is to actually have some kind of bread baguette slot on a boulangerie that you wrap your mouth round and have one. Where am I going with this? <laughs> I don't know. Where are you going with that?